Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to get over the pesky KO meta that's been going on in Madden 22. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below if you have any questions on what we're going to be talking about today, or if you guys have any, re or if you guys have any recommendations, leave it down in the comment section, and I'll try my best to find something for anybody. Now. The pesky KO situation that's been going on in Madden 22. I recently posted a video uh, about adding deep route KOs to your defense if you guys are running man coverage heavily because the, the deep route KOs, if your guy gets beat deep, it's... It's it's one thing to get beat deep for, you know, for a decent gain, but it's another thing to get just torched and having no way to recover. Now, the deep route KO meta, it pretty much gives you a way to recover out of those situations in Madden 22. Now, I'm just going to go flip, you know, I'm just going to make sure that the bunch is on the wide side of the field. So right now we have Marlon Humphrey on the outside and he's guarding a T.Y. Hilton. And on the defensive side, we're just running man coverage. So we're running man coverage, and everybody's manned up on somebody. We're sending no pressure, simply because we we just we simply want we simply want one on one situations between Marlon Humphrey and the other guy. So right now he looks open. As soon as he touches it, you're gonna be able to sit there and knock the ball out every single time. And that's what happens with the deep route KO meta is you're knocking that ball out nine times out of ten. Depending on how close you are, you're 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 gonna knock that ball out, and this is gonna happen. Time and time again here. He's, he's going to keep on knocking that ball out. And, and at that time, Marlon Humphrey was good enough to actually intercept it. Now, there's two ways that you guys can go about kind of, you know, negating that specific ability. Now, granted, if they're close enough, they're going to knock it out every single time because, you know, this, it's just good coverage from, from time to time. It happens. It's Madden. But... If there is that split second where you have a little bit of space, you're going to be able to sit there and potentially, you know, make a play. Now, that time I went for the aggressive catch. He was right there. He's able to knock it out. Now, I'm going to try to get an example. Oh, never mind. I forgot to block my, uh, I forgot to not send anybody in the situation. So. I'm going to try to go for it one more time. And, this, you know, I actually have to get, I have to take R1 off of the route that he's on in this situation for this video specifically. And then we're going to go over the two ways that you guys could potentially just, just kind of, kind of negate these deep route KOs. Now this time he actually got absolutely burnt. And if he recovers fast enough, he might've been able to actually still knock that out. And you see it in how, how he lit up, and he lights up because he has that deep route KO. Now, the two ways that you guys are going to be able to sort of negate this, this KO ability by one is going to be by possession catching. Now, possession catching is something that a lot of people don't do, especially when they feel like their man is open. And as you can see, the, the animation that we just got there was a terrible one. And because he has deep route KO, he was able to knock the ball out. This is a catch without deep route KO. This is 100% a catch. Unfortunately, we ended up with one of the worst possible animations in the game for a possession catch when you're facing a deep route KO. This gets frustrating. Now, the second way is you're going to combine the swerve technique with a possession catch. Now, a possession catch, the possession catch technique is simply just so that you guys can get a good animation where your guy is just dropping down and catching the ball because once he drops down you're not going to be able to knock the ball out if he's already on, on, on the ground now when you combine the two the swerve technique and the possession catch i'm just going to make sure that nobody is in ty hilton's way when he runs his route now when you combine the two i'm not i might not be able to do it here but when you combine the two you're going to be able to pretty much put yourself in a position to where the AI doesn't really detect that person being in the way. And I just got all these routes going in, in random, random directions. So you're going to be able to throw it in a way where 
you're gonna die for it a lot of the time. So if you guys watch the swerve technique video, you're pretty much swerving away from the defender, but you're swerving away from the catch, from the the area where the catch is gonna be made, that, that circle. As you can see, I kind of moved up a little bit. I kind of moved up right there. I don't know if you could see T.Y. Hilton, but you see how I move up and then I'm holding X or A if you guys are on the Xbox to possession catch it. And as you can see, we end up getting a nice diving animation here. You are never going to want a rack animation or aggressive catch because any any KO ability on the field is going to knock it out. It's what they're intended to do, and if you're going for the aggressive catch, this is going to be the result almost every single time. You're gonna, you're the ball is going to get knocked out. But if you're going for the possession catch, you have that chance, a higher chance, of you diving for it or simply just going straight down to the ground. Now, when you're close enough to the ball to get one of those animations where they can knock it out, which I, which we previously just seen, that that result is going to end up in a knockout. When you're swerving away and getting that possession animation at the last second, this is going to help you guys out way, way, way more oftentimes than it doesn't. Now, because that meta is, is, is sort of taken over where a lot of people are running man coverage with a bunch of zones to, to boot, they're, they're leaving the inside wide open. Now, this time, th this, this one might be easy. But again, we go for the possession. And I, I'm, I'm going to show the replay on that again. We go for the possession, and we get a beautiful dive catch. Yes, we did the swerve once again. You always want to do the swerve if you're, if you're facing anybody, anybody who has a KO. Now, as soon as I clicked on, I clicked on right here. I move my cursor upwards. And then go over towards where where the possession catch can be made, because it forces my guy to go for a diving animation instead of him just potentially not getting the animation that I that I personally would want. You always want that diving in animation because it leaves no room for error. Your guy's gonna catch it nine times out of ten. Nothing is hundred percent in, in Madden because we all know fluke exists, and that's just that's just the reality of it. So I take my guy and I'm going to try to uh, uh, like align it up perfectly so you guys can see that as soon as I clicked on. If you can see, he turned, I'm turning upfield, I'm turning upfield and then I'm and then that diving animation is, is, is making it so that the possession catch works. And I'm going to try to get one more, one more demonstration. I also didn't know that uh, this play actually beat man coverage so easily. I'm gonna get one more one more demonstration to see if I can get a different animation. Again, as you can see, that deep route KO has zero chance, and it's because I'm going for the dive. Unfortunately, Madden has it, so where you need an ability to actually get a diving catch on the defensive side, but on the offensive side, you can simply dive at your leisure, pretty much. Because once you do this, and I the only reason I waited to throw this, by the way. Is so that he gets closer and look how close he is this is with deep route ko this is as close as he's gonna get and because and because i did i did the little turn up field i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm running i'm running in a straight line and as soon as the cursor hits you see you see my guy kind of turning up field to make that catch and that forces that possession catch animation where he's actually diving for it this is how you this is how you get past the 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 KO meta that's been going around in Madden 22. Now hopefully uh, let me see uh, this guy's actually wide open. Boom. Again, wasn't even didn't even have to deal with the KO stuff, but Pascal was open. Zach Pascal was wide open. So we throw it and instead of going for the rack, now granted we could have went for the for the rack animation. We turn up field and we're able to sit there and confuse the AI to where they can't make a play on the ball. This is pretty much, we're pretty much putting a possession catch and we're adding this to the swerve technique that we posted the other day. This is how you destroy the KO meta that's been going on in Madden. Learn how to possession catch properly, add it with the swerve technique and get yards.
you're going to get yards not nonstop by doing this like because you're catching the ball you're you're guaranteeing yourself a catch that's why they added these different catch types in madden the possession catch the rack animation and the aggressive the aggressive we'll talk we'll talk about that in another video because there are ways to make that better as well um but with these deep route KOs going crazy, aggressive catching is just not the move because it's an aggressive catch. <laughs> Hopefully, this video helps you guys struggling to beat the KO meta that's been going on in Madden 22. My name is Pony Montana. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys are leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.